All right, welcome back. 940 is the time. Awesome Con kicks off in D.C. today, and it's, it's transporting a living legend right here to our galaxy. I'm talking about the one and only Billy D. Williams. <laughs> there he is right there, folks. Lando Calrissian from Star Wars. Yes, sir. And if you believe it, it he's marking the 40th anniversary of that iconic movie, The Return of the Jedi. So, from a galaxy far away to right here in our studio, Billy D. Williams, the legend, the icon, right here in Washington, D.C. Oh. Good morning to you, sir. It Good is indeed a pleasure. You. It is indeed a pleasure. So, Thank you're you. here for Awesome Con. Thank you very much for yep. spending time with us this morning. So, tell me about um, coming to Awesome Con. This is back in D.C. this time, and you're a part of it. Well, I, I, I just got back. I was in, uh, two weeks ago, I was mm -hmm. in uh, Dusseldorf doing a, a, a Comic Con, and... Mm -hmm. uh, and then they got me doing this uh, <laughs> awesome con, right? Right. Here in D.C. Now, when you when you show when you show up to these, I mean, what what is that like for you? Are, are people just all over you, and they're like, "Oh, you're Lando well, Carissian, and you're you're Billy D. Williams, you're you're that guy." Well, the thing about it, it, it it's always a, a great a deal of fun for me because it it, it really allows me to uh, meet a lot of the people who've given me a lot of support throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, from that perspective, uh, it's really a nice experience. Right. Your career has spanned decades, and we're talking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a that's a good thing. That's a, that's a tribute. And one of the one of the main one of the characters, Lando Calrissian. Right. When you got that role as Lando, I don't know how you got that role as Lando Calrissian. What uh, did you think it was going to be that iconic? Did you know Star, Star Wars Star Wars was going to be that big of a deal back then? Well, I knew when I played him, it was going to be iconic. Because <laughs> <laughs> everything you touched was iconic, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. So, well, but what was it like for you to go through that experience? Well, the whole idea was to try to create a kind of a, you know, to sort of bypass a lot of the issues that people get involved in in discussions about. You know, racial differences and things of that nature. I normally, I don't think in terms of race. I think in terms of creating a kind of uh, bigger than life kind of uh, character. Mm -hmm. Whenever mm -hmm. I'm doing these uh, these characters. And you've done a lot of bigger than life characters mm -hmm. through your, throughout your career. What is it about um, your career that you think that is attributed to your staying power? Because I'm talking about 70s, 80s, 90s. All the way through. I remember one time I was watching Martin Lawrence on his TV show. You were on there. You've been in some some other movies. So what do you attribute that to? Just you being cool or or what? It's my intensity, darling. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? How do you do that? How do you do that, by the way? How do you do that, by the way? How do you stay so cool on well, the year I, after I year after year? I never take myself too seriously. <laughs> really? No. Really? Even when all the ladies are swooning all over you, you don't take that? Oh, well, I, I find that amusing. You do? Yes. Why so? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? You don't know why the, why the, the ladies and all the people think that you're, you're the greatest thing since sliced bread? Really? Yeah. I, 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 that's not true. Oh, you're, uh, you're kind of a big... You ought to see all the people standing in here. You see these well, people standing in the studio right now? Well, They're normally not in here. <laughs> see? See there? Here to see Lance? So look, uh, seriously though, what is it, um, you're, you're a trailblazer as well, because you had roles back, back in, the, in the early days, and like I said, you've continued decade after decade to act. You've had some, some of the most iconic roles, and you've opened doors, whether you know it or not, for a lot of people. For a lot of people. Um, how does that make you feel to know that you're a trailblazer? You're a great actor and a trailblazer at the same time. Well, I mean, it's, that's a very nice compliment, you know, but I don't really spend a great deal of my time thinking about it. You know, I just sort of, uh, you know, I, I look to do interesting things with my mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. and I've sort of devoted myself to that. Right. You're working on a book. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, what have we here? That's the, na that's the name of it? Uh, Portraits of My Life. Mm -hmm. That's a great title. Yeah. That's a and great title. What have you here is uh, from a line I had in uh, um, Return of the Jedi mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Princess Leia. Right. What have we here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you have uh, so many iconic lines and, and so many different things you said in, in movies. One of the you know, well, one Lady of the, Sings the Blues, I had a few. You had a few. Yeah. Is that the... Do you want my arm to fall off? Yes, do you want my arm to fall off? See, I, I love that line. I say that all the time around you, and people yeah. are like, what's wrong with you? It doesn't sound the same when it comes out of my mouth. Also, the one in... in um, well, you do it when you do it. You don't, tell you, you don't get serious about it. Oh, you it. don't? No. I was chuckling. Every time I said that line, 
in that movie, I was uh, chuckling most of the time. Really? Because yeah. you look so, you, you just look cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're, ch you're chuckling now. Bro, last one, my last one, my, one of my favorite lines is, in Return of the Jedi, when you were dealing with Darth Vader. Right. About Han, Han Solo. And you said to him, but Lord Vader, we had a deal. You remember that line? Yeah. That's when the Han Solo Lord thing. Vader, we had a deal. Yes, and he said, <laughs> I've altered the plans. <laughs> Pray I don't alter them any further. <laughs> so you didn't know I knew all that, did you? Wow. <laughs> I got the stamp of approval wow. from Billy D. Williams. Nobody else likes it when I do that, for the record. No. Nobody, nobody else. No, you're not serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything, anything else you want to say before we leave? Well, I just want to say stay well, <laughs> everybody. These are very difficult moments that we're dealing with. Stay well. Billy D. Williams, right here in Washington, D.C. Thank you, sir. It is, a, it is an honor Thank you, and a sir. pleasure. All right. Marissa? Well, Wisdom, my favorite is success is nothing without someone you love to share it with in Mahogany with Diana Ross. Oh, that's a great yes. line. Yeah. <laughs> love you, love you, love you.